This is BMM series. Today, we have breaking news in Miami, Florida, with a wet and long hurricane that's about 139 miles per hour. It has left hundreds of people homeless and several others dead. Its winds are incredibly strong, and it's wet. It's leaving the area flooded with water. Um, here's Corinne McCaskill as she walks down in the streets of Miami, Florida, interviewing witnesses at this time. I am here with Miss Kathy. What did you do during the storm? I was praying for a small shelter. How did it impact you and your family? Me and my seven cats. We were praying for that small shelter with lots of new people. It wasn't fun. What did you say when you saw your house destroyed? I said, oh no, it's a catastrophe. What are you going to do now? Now I'm going to go back home and try to recover from this devastation. It's been truly hard on me and my family of seven cats, but I think we'll be over. Well, thank you for your time. Now back to the studio with Mabel. The damage of the hurricane's a lot already, but the effects from has made the city from bad. Here's some pictures of the hurricane. Oh, the hurricane. This is a picture of the hurricane affecting the area in Miami, Florida. See how strong the winds are? This is another picture of the eye of the hurricane. Anyways, traffic is becoming extremely high because of all the people wanting to leave the city during the hurricane. The strong winds and waves make it really hard to leave during the storm. So a lot of accidents are happening and many people are stuck in the middle of the road. Unfortunately, since everyone can't go back home, many people are forced to go to nearby shelters. These shelters are real good, but these families are cramped in a small building with little water in The Red Cross Association and other volunteers have been helping people in Miami. That's all for today, and please have a wonderful day.